The coronavirus crisis is amplifying racial and economic inequalities. A study by Boston Consulting Group found nationally 30% of all K-12 public school students lack adequate internet or devices for distance learning. King 5's Natalie Swaby shows us the effort underway to help in one Seattle public school. At Beacon Hill International School, remote learning's rocky start was noticeable in Nisha Daniels' first grade class. I would say like roughly half just couldn't engage. When that happened in the first part of spring, she reached out to her students' families. It didn't register until like I had a mom say like, Maestra, I get it, but like we don't have food and I, I need to like feed my family. And I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? Like, how am I gonna serve this family too? She found her answer at Rainier Valley Food Bank. She started showing up at this place every week where other teachers and parents are pitching in too, packing and delivering groceries to the doorsteps of families in need. About 70 to 80 families a week. With food being an issue, it was clear to this teacher that data plans and high-speed internet would also be out of reach. She says in the spring, some families would get in the car and go to great lengths to get their kids' schoolwork done. A couple of the families found out that if you go to the library parking lot, you can get internet from the library parking lot. I saw one of my students with their laptop inside their parents' car trying to connect to the internet. It was a moment that meant something to this teacher. They were trying to get the internet from the parking lot. Like, that's how, how dedicated they are. It also highlights the digital divide. That just screams of the inequities that are happening here. What is the district doing to address those inequities when it comes to just even having internet? There needs to be a movement across this country for broadband for all. It is really ridiculous, actually, that the, these basic services, it should be looked at like a public utility. Seattle Public Schools Superintendent Denise Juno says work is underway to roll out more resources. Our district um, did a huge lift and we provided devices across our district about 50%. About we have devices on order that we will fulfill with the rest of the 50%, and so we hope to have a strong start to the school year. For Nisha, another round of remote learning this fall means rolling up her sleeves right now. One of the things that I know is that our families and our students are supremely resilient, and I know we're gonna get through this. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.